Hi, I'm Ashley, and I am here with a local brownie troop. Today, we will be your booth training guides. In this video, troop cookie managers will gain an understanding of the difference in hotspot and non-hotspot booths, the council hotspot list, booth etiquette, and how to sign up for booths in eBuddy. What is the difference between a hotspot and a non-hotspot? A hotspot is booked by the council and a non-hotspot is booked by your troop leader. Council hotspots. These spots are booked by council. Do not contact them yourself. You will sign up in eBuddy. You can find the full hotspot list on the Cookie Central page at girlscoutsindiana.org. Non-hotspots. These spots are booked by your leader and cannot come from the hotspot list. You can log in eBuddy for free advertising on Hotspot Locator. Please note you will need to submit all non hotspot booths 72 hours in advance in order for Council to approve them. When you're working at a booth, it is important to follow booth etiquette, such as arrive and leave on time, no more than two girls and two adults at a booth to be respectful of the store's space. Ensure that you leave the booth clean when you leave. Please see the booth etiquette list on our Council Cookie Central under Troops and Volunteers. Now, let's look at a few examples of how booth etiquette impacts your booth. First, let's look at a troop who is not following the booth etiquette. Can you find the things that are wrong with this booth? Is that girl sleeping? And why did they put their trash under the table and not pick it up? I only see one adult, and is she playing a video game? When you don't pay attention to your customers, they become cookie-thirsty zombies. Ah! Now let's look at what booth etiquette can do to improve a cookie booth. Look at this. They have two adults and both girls are out selling their cookies. Wow, they have a very good cookie booth. I would want to buy from them. Now, let's talk about how to plan for your cookie booths. Be sure to use our booth tracking form to plan for and track your cookie booths throughout the cookie season. This will give you something to reference back to in case you need to edit eBuddy as well as a historical tracking of booths from year to year. Planning the number of cookies by variety to bring to a booth can seem daunting, but it doesn't have to be. You can utilize the breakdown shown here on the screen to determine what variety mix to bring. However, we suggest that you talk to troops in your local area or your service unit cookie manager for more details about how each booth in the area that you've signed up for perform. You will also want to prepare for how you will take money. First, you'll want to make sure that you've set up your digital cookie troop link in order to take credit card payments at cookie booths. Second, you'll want to plan to put together a cash box. Your cash box should consist of $1 bills and a few $5 bills. Note that this year you'll be making change with quite a few $1 bills, so you'll want to be heavy on that denomination. We suggest starting your cash box with somewhere between $100 and $150. To recap, you have several booth resources. On our website, you can find the booth tracking form, the booth balancing tip sheet, and the digital cookie mobile app trainings. And in the eBuddy Help Center, you can find a training on how to record booth sales. Thank you for watching our booth training video. If you have any other questions, call the customer care line at 317-924-6800.